I will say my productivity if I wake up in the morning versus doing it all doing work at night is 10 times better. This guy bought a 2006 McLaren 650S at the young age of 17 working on Amazon. Kenzo Sobri is that guy. He is by far the practical definition of young and getting it. He became the youngest Amazon millionaire at 19. What does he do? What did he do differently? We know you all want answers to these questions and more. How about you stay around until the end of the video to find out? You might be the next millionaire. A few years ago, Kenzo was as regular as any guy you would meet on the street. He always had a knack for entrepreneurship. According to him, he is just that guy that always wants to make an extra buck. His entrepreneur career started when he was in first grade, where he would middleman deals with Pokemon cards, buying for $25 and selling for $30, a whopping $5 profit. As a seventh grader, he got arrested for selling vapes in school. Imagine getting caught for selling vapes. He loved making money. For some, getting arrested could mean stopping, but Kenzo didn't stop. Although nothing was heard of him selling vapes again, he switched to a more legitimate business this time around. As an eighth grader, Kenzo sold printed t-shirts. One would wonder where his parents were all that time. But in truth, his parents are average people, not so rich or poor. Let's say they are somewhere around the middle class. On the other hand, Kenzo says he started getting into those side hustles to get a taste of the exotic cars, private jets, and the luxury life he never knew. But along the line, he became more deliberate about the process. It's safe to say, entrepreneurship for Kenzo did not start by chance. The bigger picture of what we see is a successful 19-year-old. But in actual fact, no successful person ever gets it easy. There must have been a low time. Like every entrepreneur, Kenzo had his moment too, and that was when he started with Shopify. He had high hopes for the business, but somehow it completely flopped. He dug deep, showed great strength and perseverance, figured out what went wrong, and tried again. He must be a firm believer in the never give up mantra. That is an excellent quality to have. Big ups to him. Many adults don't have that. So to think a 15 or 16 year old had that much resilience in him, that's impressive. He made his first million dollars before he turned 18. That is incredible. How did he move from a failed attempt at Shopify to being a millionaire? Hold up, we will tell you everything. Let's get the tea spilling. After his business at Shopify flopped, he got into drop shipping on eBay. This is an excellent introduction for people who don't have the capital to leverage. They don't need to buy the products until after it's sold. But it got to the point that his schedule was so tight that he worked about 18 hours a day. When he realized that he needed to find a way to scale the business, he knew very well that he couldn't create more hours in the day. So he needed to figure out what to do. He talked to one of his friends, who later introduced him to Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA was what he needed at the time. They handled all the physical side of his business, which was how the Amazon FBA journey started. Take it from us, we all need a friend like Kenzo. He hopped into Amazon with only $7,500. Now that's probably more than what many people have in their account, but in retrospect, what he has achieved from the $7,500 to a few million is not a bad return. This dude is living his best life. You should see his Instagram page and car collections. You would melt and that's a promise. So what he did is what most people describe as wholesale FBA, right? He sold other third-party brands, things that you would see big box stores like Tide, Clorox, Sharpie, and so on. Big brands that have already established such a good presence in people's daily lives. So they've already spent millions and millions of dollars in marketing. The demand is already there. He needed to work through vendor network to find products in demand and source them for a lower price. For instance, a gallon of Clorox bleach is selling for $5 on Amazon. He would then go through the vendor list and figure out who has that product for a specific price. He needs to know that to be profitable, selling it on Amazon. So that has to be the best business model for any beginner seller interested in selling on Amazon to get into because you don't need to build a brand. You don't need to have a massive online presence. You don't need to invest so much time on product development, marketing, running ads, and split testing. You just need to do proper research and analytics. Find what product is in demand, buy it for less, and sell it for more. So right as it hits Amazon, it will go ahead and start selling through. However, Kinzo said to have encountered various problems starting. 
One of the biggest concerns was that you're not selling your product, you're selling a third party's brand. So, if you do not do your research right, you could get into the issue of IP complaints. Some brands and distributors will not allow you to sell their products on Amazon if you're not an authorized reseller. You could lose your selling privileges for that listing on Amazon. That could cause you to lose your account if you stack up too many items like that. Another thing is the market can easily get saturated. So, because you don't have any control over who else is sourcing these products, you come into the issue of, let's say you find a profitable, well-selling product and you're selling it well. The thing is, there's thousands of other sellers looking for those same margins and sales per month. And if they find that product, they're going to go ahead and start selling it themselves. So obviously, it's accessible to everyone since you don't have rights to the brand unless you have an exclusive deal. Anyone else could hop on the listing, same as you. They have the same rights as you, and they could go ahead and sell it, and its listings could become oversaturated. Kenzo was able to scale the hurdles of his major concerns because, by 2020, his company grossed upwards to 5 million by the time he turned 19. Now we can tell you that Kenzo's business, which started in his house, storing piles of boxes in the yard, which would get his mom mad, now boasts streams of warehouses, with a three-unit warehouse as headquarters in Huntington Beach, LA. There's another in Miami, Houston, and a mega one in New Jersey. Meanwhile, we figured our viewers would want to know how he was able to stay grounded, what habits helped him, and all. So we went through his YouTube, Instagram, and various interviews he has done over the years. He says most entrepreneurs' biggest regret is not starting early. So he concludes that if anyone has the means to start a business, say capital, workforce, etc., it's advisable to start early and not wait for later. You don't want to regret all your life not starting early. Also, do what works for you. For instance, every regular Joe carries out their business transaction a certain way, which is choosing the identical work model. Don't do this. Instead, be sure of what works best for your business and stick to it. Additionally, Kenzo strongly believes that who you surround yourself with is very important. He talks a lot about how his mentor influenced him to be who he is today. Be ready to invest in yourself and your business. As a 15-year-old, Kenzo spent $2,500 on a training with his mentor and an extra $2,000 to get his laptop. Fast forward nine days after the training session and he had made over two grand using what he had just learned. He emphasizes consistency, adaptability, and resilience. Kenzo has always had a knack for entrepreneurship and even though he flopped at first, just like many other CEOs, he kept going. And from there, he has been able to make a name for himself as the youngest Amazon millionaire at age 19. You have access to your phone, an internet connection, and a proven example of how lucrative Amazon FBA is. Would you give it a shot or not? Let us know in the comments section.